Ooh, $12 RV park with full hookups. Yummy, triple cheeseburger. Ooh, look at that white rose. I'd love to have one of these back home. Ooh, pretty. Hey everyone, Aja here from Pandemonium. It is definitely a gloomy overcast day, so we decided to do some adventuring. Where we've come to the city of Victoria, where we're checking out this RV park that's only $12 a night with full utilities. Uh, or you can come here and dump for $2. I'd say that's pretty inexpensive. If you want to pause it right here, here are some of the rules for the park. They have a drainage ditch here, which has vegetation in it, but I'm more interested in the walking trail. And I think this trail, just said, goes for about 10 miles. Wildlife area on the other side of the river, uh -huh. on the other side of the trail, and then the river is on the other side of that. Oh, there's an the actual Guadalupe river. river. Seems like it's almost full, but there's still some available spots. We'll take a drive through here. I just want to check it out. But I like how it's set up. For $12 a night, you can't beat it. And I like that it's so close to the Guadalupe River, which we saw when we were in Kerrville. We're going to go ahead and drive through here real quick. Because we are going to go grab something to eat and also go exploring more where we'll actually take the dogs for a walk. So I just want to drive through here. Got nice pull through spots. Yeah, I like all of these that are pull through. And there's two of the pull throughs still available. I don't know. Do you have to have a perm, like a, a reservation? You can make it. You can you pay online. Or you can... I just want to check the sites because Jeff said you can reserve them online. Um, requires 48 hour reservation. So you do need to go online and reserve the spot 48 hours beforehand. Yeah, I do like the park, but if it's complicated. I mean, because there's not a camp host here, you know, I'm okay with skipping it. It is nice that it's plug in oh, for... Yeah. yeah. Seems like a pretty popular park. Most of the sites are filled. We're going to take this secondary route. How do you even get over there? Oh, there's no, another it's road. Yeah, it's okay, I see. Oh, we have to go... And those are back in. Look at Kendo. Kendo. <laughs> Yeah, these are pulled through. Oh, nice. Oh, I like these sites better. Well, I don't know if I'll fit. Yeah, they are smaller. You see, well, let's see. There's a Class A there. I don't know. Yeah, no, my truck should fit behind me. Seems long enough. My RV's not that long. Well, that's nice. Yep, they have all three at the uh, sites. There's water, electric, Oh, the dog that laying there in the grass. <laughs> like I was saying, there's water, electric, and dump at all the sites. But they do have a dump station as well. I think that's what, is that the, the dump station? Yeah, it's it's $2, but where, I don't see where oh, the- Oh yeah, there's a, there's a thing you can- Oh, is there? So there's a dump cap. station there. There's just no you know, water, rinse water. Well, it looks like they've been doing some putty work on that RV there. There's also a park across. There's, there's another park some, across. Yeah. There's some kind of hiking there. Well, that's one thing I do like is if there's hiking trails around, it's very convenient so we don't have to go um, hunting for them. Crazy monster. Street. All right. Okay, let's go grab some food. We've come to Moo Moo's chicken place. No, my dog does not own a restaurant. Just wanted to point out that when we pulled up, there was no parking available. Now there's spots available. It's a pretty small parking lot. We had to park across the street at the church. It does remind me of like Sonic. Basically the layout I'm talking about, not the food. So they have chicken, burgers, sandwiches, dinners, baskets, salad, sides. Ooh, moo party boxes. Very interesting restaurant. They have dang burgers, double dang, triple dang. Mother of all dangs. Yeah, mother of all dangs. Oh, actually, could you do half and half? Yes, so like I said, they have a burger here that is called the Moad. It's the mother of all dangs. It's the big burger. It's four quarter pound pieces of meat. <laughs> this is actually not that bad. See, look at it. Oh, it is, it is kind of big. <laughs> I can always share with the dogs, so. Yeah, that's not too bad. I could have definitely did the, um, the, the four. Oh well, I'll know for next time. Mm. Yummy, triple cheeseburger. 
<laughs> Jeff got the crispy chicken sandwich. They have the, the meat is kind of on the thin it's side. A big, big, big piece. It is a big piece. So yeah, their buns are huge and, and so are their um, meat, but they're thin. Well, the food was definitely tasty, but we're gonna head to a park now. We can take the poochies for a walkie. And look at Kellogg's already ready. Not to mention we need to walk after all that food. Well, at least I do. We've made it to the Riverside Park here in Victoria. Ooh, they have a rose garden. Ooh, I'm going to go check that out. I guess you can take canoes or Do I? something and paddle along the little paddle tributary. Trail? Yeah. Oh, the roses. So pretty. I said I'd stop by the rose garden. It's a memorial rose garden built in 1979. It was one of seven public rose gardens in Texas and one of a hundred nationwide. It consists of 20 beds. Here's more if you want to pause and read. Wow, a lot of beautiful roses. You would think that it was off season for roses, but there are a lot of them still blooming. And it's not a lot of hidden paths. It does curve back and forth, but you can see everything. I like gardens that leave a little something to the imagination where you can kind of wander and see what's around the next bend. Definitely some empty spots where things haven't survived. Oh my God, I wish y'all could smell this though. It smells beautiful, very sweet. And a pretty red rose. another shot and there is the lovely fountain I want to check out the yellow rose so pretty definitely not as fragrant as the red one and one more shot it looks like there's <laughs> some kind of moth taking a nap in there hmm. always need to stop by a garden I see but we're gonna continue on it is located right next to a golf course but here on the right hand side there is walking trails and it's right by a river just as a tributary off of the main river the Guadalupe River comes out here to this point and then comes back again right on the other side of the road. Right. So turn to There's the right a, up here. A playground. Where yeah. those cars are parked or up in the next area. Turn right, then your destination will be on so the right. So park here or? Yeah, any place here to the right. This is the middle. Okay, um, but what if we keep on going? And then it goes past the golf course and it exits. Oh, it exits, okay. Yeah. This, okay. Way, this way is a dead end, goes in the, out to the point. Your destination is on the right. Of yeah. any of these places. Okay, so we can walk out to this, the, the point? Yeah, if you want to. Okay. Walk right out there. <laughs> Whoa, there's two dogs and something in the back. Let's see. Okay, we'll just park up here. I don't know where the parking is, if it's up here. Um, I guess we can park anywhere. Um, let's just, oh, I guess, you know what, let's back in. We decided to get as close as possible to the Guadalupe River. We're gonna start here and then make our way out as far as we wanna go and then turn back around. Jeff was pointing out that the Guadalupe River actually goes around this point here. So I don't think it goes that much further out. So it's like, hurry up, y'all are slow. Excited for more, huh? I'm excited to walk off some of that burger. I did end up sharing a patty with the dogs. Took half of a patty out. Oh, well they have picnic tables here. We could have brought our sandwiches here to eat. Okay, ready Momo? Oh yeah, and this is the end here. I'm gonna stroll down there. This is called Pebble Beach, obviously because there's lots of small rocks and pebbles down here. Oh, wait, which is the easiest way down? Well, we'll go this way. Well, I don't know. Is it easier that way? Mm -hmm. Come on, Momo. Yeah, that was a bit steep, but not too bad. Now you see why they call it Pebble Beach. This is pretty cool. I like how the river wraps around. Very beautiful. It's a very peaceful and relaxing river. It's not rushing by really quickly. This is a pretty cool little area here. It'd be nice to have like a little gathering here. 
make for a nice swimming hole. Right, Momo? You want to go swimming? Kellogg's ready. <laughs> yeah, so I think we're coming to the end of the bend here. And it goes back off that way. And I guess this is basically like a peninsula that um, is surrounded by the Guadalupe River. I see a trail up that's not as steep as the last one. I'm gonna go check it out. Looks a bit overgrown, so maybe. It's really sandy like the beach here. Wow. Yeah, pure sand. What's that? You like to see them? Well, go ahead, Cog. Go. <laughs> wow, definitely a lot of vegetation. Oh, the wild boars are here? So Jeff was reading a post online saying that to not or to be careful when hiking this trail because there are wild boars in the area which can be very dangerous and I guess it's more prevalent at night I didn't know they were nocturnal though okay well you, does it go back up okay I was like let's not continue on the tall grassy path do you see a path up there Okay. <laughs> Go ahead, Kellogg. I think he was stuck. Oh, okay. I see the parking lot right over there. Yeah, I could see where this might be a little dangerous at night. Definitely wouldn't want to do that. A lot of tall grass. Kellogg, it's not grass eating time. He's like, he's like, he thinks he's at the salad bar. He's just like going to town on the grass. Go, 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 go. Oops, oh no. Uh, you're stuck. There you go. He's not the brightest crayon in the coloring box. Go, go, go. But he's adorable. Now Mumu on the other hand, she is very smart. But you know, we love them both. They have their own good traits. All right, we made it back out to the parking lot. That was short lived, but now we're gonna take a walk because there's a hiking trail that goes all the way back out. I doubt we'll do it all, but at least get the dogs a mile or two in. Ready for this memo? Let's go. I think the other side though is is closer to the river because the river kind of jets out over here yeah looks like they've got this part cordoned off and they've planted new plants in here i do not know what type of plant this is but it reminds me of a fig the leaf pattern anyways but it's definitely not a fig not sure what that is yeah strange isn't it i'm sure somebody in the comments will know what it is on this side, the river is definitely more overgrown. I can see why there would be wild boar in here. Nice habitat for them. There's the river, very bendy river. Is he being crazy over there? Oh geez, he's gonna get you, you better watch out. Alligator is gonna get you. <laughs> yeah, uh, we're a little far from the water. Go, 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 crazy, crazy. There's a pretty lake over there with fountains in it, but I think that's part of the golf course. Where's the path? We don't want to go on the golf course, Jeff. Is that part of the golf course or is that the walking path over there? Huh? Oh, maybe we have to cross back over. I mean, it's a public golf Yeah, but I don't know if that's a walking path. I don't want to get hit by no golf balls. Okay, I think we need to get to the other side of the road because this is not a trail. It's where the golf carts drive. There's a trail that goes down. We can go a little further. 
I might have been wrong because there are picnic tables here. I see a dog poo poo station. So I think this is both. You can use it as a walking trail and it's also for the golf carts. So we'll just move aside if any golf carts come through. Or we can just walk over here also through the woods, over the hill to grandma's house we go. Well, that looks a bit awkward. Look how this palm tree is growing right next to this other tree. Yeah, and it's the only palm tree we've seen here. Isn't that odd? Well, they look like they like growing together. They're both pretty big. Okay. Got to the other side of the road and we're gonna start heading back. I guess the river is about the same distance as the other side, but less vegetation. Seems like they manicure it over here more so. Oh, are you hiding from everybody? <laughs> you can't I can me. see you. <laughs> you gotta get into the middle of the grass so no one can see you. <laughs> There's little paths that lead to the river, which is right over there. It's kind of hard to see. The closer we get to the truck, the more overgrown it feels. We're almost back, it's right there. Well, I'll say that was definitely an enjoyable little walk that we had. I always like to explore. <laughs> there goes that truck with the two dogs in the recliner. <laughs> the dogs are like on top of the recliner. That seems very awkward. Momo, you want me to put a recliner in the back of the truck so you can ride back there? Huh? Eh, that's probably more Kellogg's thing than yours. There's a patch here that's been cleared out so it's easier to get to the river oh cool it just comes down to another pebble beach here yeah this one's definitely not as steep just like Jeff said and it's not at the bend almost looks like you could drive down here if there was access but there's no access Check this out for a minute and then we're gonna continue on. It's nice, you can see a, a nice straight shot, well, meandering shot of the river. And it kinda has a choke point here. I'm surprised this is not all flooded. Then it just continues on and then bends where we were over there. You can tell we're close to the ocean. There's a lot of seashells mixed in with the river rock. Camp over camp. We are back at camp and it's not windy so that's nice but the next couple of days is supposed to get windy and also rain so we decided we don't want to be here. We've already been here about a week and a day and it's been nice. We've had I think only two days of sun though and the rest of the days it's just been kind of overcast. I have enjoyed my time here. It is a beautiful spot. The last time we were here, which was in spring, it was definitely more sunny. In the winter, it tends to be a little overcast, which is unfortunate. I'm gonna go ahead and get packed up. I have to hook the truck up. Everything else is packed, but we're gonna go to that RV site that I showed you earlier in the video. Okay, you go inside while I hook up the truck. Good girl. It's not that far. It's less than 30 miles, so not too bad. And check-in is until four o'clock, so I'm not in, in any rush. Pulled the RV out here so it'd be easier to attach the truck and everything is good. All right, we are pulling out. <laughs> it was fun staying here at the beach. Get my seatbelt on. In a quarter mile, turn right onto North Ocean Drive. Even though we didn't stay here the full two weeks, only a week, it was still fun. Right, Mimo? Fun and beautiful. At least the two sunny days were beautiful. I had to go get out of that sweatshirt. It was getting warm. It was warm and warm. And also I wanted to make sure everything was locked down with a tow hitch. All right, let's get on the road. Onward bound. 
Oh, that dog was just wandering around. Glad that guy grabbed it. I stepped out just to make sure it didn't get run over because there are vehicles going by. So, yeah, it was that he just wasn't paying attention. Also, I think he's with the lady in the Jeep and she just drove off and the dog was chasing her. So, but, all right, <laughs> the dog's safe. Let's go ahead and get going. Enjoy your time here. Yeah. Bye now. In a quarter mile, turn right onto Oleander Avenue, Vivian Stevens Street. Take the second right onto Oleander Avenue, Vivian Stevens Street, then turn left onto Margie Toomey Road. Take the next left onto Margie Toomey Road. Will do. Our destination is inland about 40 miles. Not at the coast. So it'll be a change of scenery. Well, y'all have seen because I showed you mile. in the video. trailer. There was actually two there, but one is gone. We reached Junction 87. This is kind of awkward. The road is closed, so you can't get on this highway. Turn right on the US 87 South. By going straight through and then just turning left, you have to turn right and then make a U-turn. Because they're still building this bridge here. Take the next left on the US 87 North. Luckily, we can do a UE here. And the traffic's not bad. Continue on US 87 North for 23 miles. Victoria, we have about two miles till our turn. All right, here is our turn. North Navarro Street. Turn right onto North Navarro Street. Downtown is straight ahead. We're not that far from downtown, which is nice. Convenient. Okay, we made it back here, and like Dave said, the sites were already available, so we went ahead and pulled in a little early, but obviously if someone was still here, we wouldn't be able to pull in. Checkout's not till 2 o'clock, which is in about 15 minutes, I believe, but it is a pretty level site. I got my truck unhooked, and Jeff finally made it. The grinder? <laughs> the grinder? I'm not grinding it. Huh? They all have locks on them. I don't know why it's specifically locked. Dave said his was unlocked. I mean, it was just, did they give you a code? Mm -hmm. Huh, I mean, we might have to call. Someone did come by to unlock the electric. Awesome. So it was time for the sun to set. So we decided to take an early evening stroll with the dogs through this beautiful patch of cedar elms. Definitely a very peaceful walking trail. I think it's mixed with um, marshland a little bit. 
they have these culverts, like probably about 10 of them that go through the path. It must get really wet here. Just that it's part of a wildlife preserve. He's totally missing it, look. All the white-tailed deer. You're missing the deer, You're missing the deer Kellogg. It's like a whole herd of them. There was one that was uh, ahead of you too. Pretty cool. Uh oh. See now he sees it. Yeah. What is it? What is it? There was one up here too. Yeah. But it, it shot off that way some way. Oh, now you're attentive. Yeah. Cool, they have plant tags on some of these trees or plants. This one is the Texas Forsteria. It's a swamp privet. Look at all this Spanish moss. So cool. It's just draped all over the trees. I showed it in a previous video and someone did let me know the name of it. It's in South Carolina too, I should have known what it was. Just hadn't seen it in a long time. It's a really beautiful trail. Very green. On some spots. That's where we just came from. There's another trail that goes that way, and then another trail goes that way. This is back to our camp spot. It is a very extensive trail system. I think there's like 10 miles. Huh? We did every trail, it'd be several miles. Yeah. Isn't it like 10 miles? 10, 12 miles. Yeah. I made it out just in time. It's starting to sprinkle. And there's the RV park we're staying at. Bridge yeah, that would be nice. But they have this bridge here. Okay, now it's starting to sprinkle a little heavier. That's pretty. Oh, there's an egret there hiding. Yeah, he was over here when you were back there a little ways. Uh huh. He flew just that little short distance. Okay, I didn't even see him until now.